I didn't stop. But um, yeah, this is um relationships and hardships part two, buddy. Part two. All right. Um, yeah. Relationships and hardships. You know. Um, like I said, communication. You know, be open or whatever. Also, it's good to let the person know. You know, you're there for them or whatever. Like me. I'm with you till the end or whatever. Until you say, I don't, you know, I don't want, I don't want to, I don't want this anymore. But unless you don't want to be there, then I'm not going to be there. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just let, no, let the person know that you're there for them or whatever. And also, you know, some people, their relationships with time is financial or whatever. It's just a financial way. I mean, if you have a person who in a relationship where you're having finance problems, I mean, it's only for seasons honey i mean usually it's the it's the girl that's worrying the guy about it or you know she's not or she's not used to struggling or he's not used to struggling it's like okay you know it's not gonna be for long or whatever and there's nothing wrong with struggling because i've struggled some of my life or whatever and, you know me being a single mom i've struggled a lot but you know what i'm saying my kids always had i i haven't you know i've been hungry before going to work or something like that but you know the way the government is today, you know, you can get plenty of help, but, you know, I don't get full help. All I get is food help. That's it. Everything else is all me. But, um, yeah, um, you know, it's okay. You know, it's, it'll, it'll pass. You know, if I say if you have financial woes, you know, you know, you should still stick with that person because you never know where God or, the, or you know, you know, I, I just feel like if something major happens in finances that it was only God that's why I said it but um you never know where that person's gonna go in life you know what I'm saying and you know you should wanna be that's another thing before you even get in a relationship you should just know that if you wanna be with that person for better or worse or whatever because you know what I'm saying some people they don't have when, when something happens they're used to this lifestyle and something happens down up in here or whatever and they're not used to the lifestyle they start putting the person down and start just acting like a child you know don't do that or whatever you know you should want to work together to get what you want you shouldn't put everything on a man a man shouldn't put everything on a woman you should want to help each other out as much as possible or whatever ain't no man go out there and do it all himself no Maybe in the old days, but you know, this new century now and stuff is getting harder, 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 harder to survive. So yeah, you need to help guys out or whatever. I mean, some girls say they're not working. I mean, being online, I see a lot of girls putting what they want in a guy and it's like, they want the guy, the guy to like, take care of them. And I'm like, what you gonna do to send your ass and get fat or sit in the house all day while he go work so you can spend his money? I mean. If I was a man, I don't want no girl like that. I mean, some guys will because they just want a trophy to tell whatever what to do, or they just want to think for her. But I'm just saying those those are relationships that usually come to an end, and they end up what in hardships. So, um, yeah, um, yeah. Like I said, be open, be understanding, and listen, listen, listen to what the other person has to say, or whatever, and give them a chance. Be understanding. Let them know that you're there for them, or whatever. And that you really care or whatever and you know don't be selfish or whatever and don't try to pay play the little pity party or whatever when the person tells you what's wrong with them then you try to bring it back on them like oh that you hurt me too but you know that it was nowhere near hurting on your part because you were wrong for that if you're wrong admit it don't try to play a pretty party and put it back on them no mm -mm, don't do that um you know that's all i have really for right now for um relationships that are in hardships or whatever oh yeah and pray about it go to church together pray pray together you know family that prays together stays together and whenever you put god in the middle of some of your relationship you know what i'm saying it's not really it's not really it's not um gonna fail or whatever you know as long as you believe and um that's all i really have to say and also they have books out there now they have uh what is it td jakes before you do that is a good book and it gives you a lot of aspects to think about or whatever and it helps you bring a lot of problems or, or you know that can arise like i said about baggage and stuff he brings that up or whatever and um you know um you know they have a lot of relationship counsel books where you can write down things 
you know, your problems and all the other stuff. You know, go out into these stores, look, or whatever. There's a lot of things you can play games to learn about more about each other. That's another thing. Sometimes you might not know enough and you might go into a hardship. You know, learn more about them. And like um, on the Fireproof movie, it said, major in your love. Major in them. Learn about them. You know what I'm saying? Major in them. Don't never stop learning about them never not want, never stop wanting to know more about the person you want to learn more about them every day so that you can you know keep them happy but um yeah that's all my time and i'm gonna go in if you have any questions anything else you want me to do on here you know message me if you don't want to comment post it up or whatever like that message me comment me you know saying i'll try my best to get back to it or whatever you know in my free time and that's my time and it's your girl's got a gift aka dream I'll let him.